The next part will deal on how to respond to posts by others. The informative title that you will provide will help, but you can also consider to include a quote from the post that you are applying to, especially if you are responding to something specific in the person's message. You can also take paragraphs and place your comments in between in a different color. It's important to contribute something valuable to the conversation. Just saying I agree does not move the discussion forward. Rather ask yourself why you agree and explain your rationale so that others have something else to respond to. Ask probing questions like one of the following. What reasons do you have for saying that? Why do you agree or disagree on that point? How are you defining the term that you just used? What do you mean by that expression? Could you clarify that remark? What follows from what you just said? What alternatives are there to such a formulation? Feel free to disagree with your classmates, as airing different perspectives will help others clarify their thinking, and therefore you may need to contradict a classmate. However, remember to disagree respectfully, no name calling or using a sarcastic tone. Remember that this is a safe learning environment and as much as you want a safe environment to balance your ideas of and develop your thinking, you need to extend the same courtesy to your classmates. Also, if you disagree, support your point with evidence, but do not feel bad about offering a different interpretation. Your contribution should help to make the discussion more productive for everyone involved. Everyone needs to work together to create group cohesion because discussions are about group learning. When you function well as a group, you will be more open to all the benefits that this type of learning can offer. Give positive feedback to one another, use light humor, and avoid comments that could be taken as insulting. Remember that there is a lack of non-verbal and vocal cues in the online environment so people can't judge whether you are joking or not. Keep the conversations warm and friendly by referring to each other by your first name. Respond promptly to each other and offer assistance when needed. Also, you'll need to label emotions. For example, I'm confused about this or I feel strongly because no one will pick up on how you feel otherwise. Be aware when posting prompt emotional responses. If you feel very emotional about a message, wait before responding. It is very easy to write something in the heat of the moment and then wish you could retract it. If you send it to the discussion, the damage is done. Even waiting overnight can give you enough distance to respond in a calmer and more professional manner. Developing a positive perspective. This session deals with how to respond to posts by others. Like WhatsApp, online chats can also provide an opportunity to ask questions or make comments on the online platform. The same as with forums, try to make your comments concise and clear. Remember to be respectful and professional and don't write anything that you wouldn't speak in class. Also avoid clogging up the chat with links to extra external resources. Stay focused and aim to add value to the class experience. Be open to new ideas. Recognize that there is a wealth of knowledge and experience in your learning community, not just your lecturer. Therefore, discussions is about actively listening, or in this case, reading what others have to say, and then working to shape and reshape your own thoughts and perspectives. Different perspectives can further everyone's understanding of the issue or concept being discussed. They represent opportunities for learning. But the most important point of all is to enjoy yourself. The online environment comes with many benefits, 
including learning from your peers in addition to learning from your lecturer. Use this time productively to hone lifelong skills and refine your ideas about the course content.